Hi, this is Herbert Aurelia, and I'm now to report Bridging the Generation Gap. The older generation often feels there is a generation gap between them and the younger. And the gap is apparent in simple things like marriage, addressing, socializing, more intimate relationships like friendship and mirroring, and many more. Here's the example of manner addressing. Manner addressing of the old generation, as you can see. Uh, there are two kinds of manner doing, which are addressing in the old generation, the classical and the modern type. And this is the manner addressing in the new generation. Uh, at this late, uh, uh, or late of the 20th century and earlier of the 21st century. The way of visualizing of old generation, the way of visualizing in new generation, the intimate relationship between uh, friendships in the old generation, the intimate relationship of friendships in new generation. These are the examples. Next is the intimate relationships of marriages and courtship. In old generation, as you can see, there is a the so-called pangaharana before getting into marriage before the celebration in the church, in church. But in new generation, it's different. The communication is using the technology. And before we get married, the lady has become first pregnant before celebration. And the leisure time of old generation is playing the boxing clinic and uh, tumbang peso which is involving physical activity. While in new generation, it only uh, includes in mental eyes and hands and play in a game, a virtual game in computer, the so-called the Warcraft game, one of the examples. Next is not only in the culture that there is a gap, there's also a gap in the field of education. And the use of generation gap also exists and it will continue to widen unless some changes are adapted. And this is the example. The education traditional schooling has hardly changed even with the clear evidence of digital world. And that's true. It reflects on how some teachers don't find their teaching the board talk test method to use the classical way of teaching the board talk method. And some experts said that 80% teaching the traditional way and there are only 16% teaching um, at the present ways and 4% only or few in the future ways of teaching. These are, these are the examples of learning classes of old generation. As you can see, this is the type of board of test and this is the type of classical type of teaching method using the books using blackboard while in new generation they're using the technology laptop interactive board they are browsing their children are browsing for an information for themselves and the other one is um, writing maybe in a notepad and presented it to the teacher. For example, in observation is the school level, the voluminous book uh, placed in shelves in a library and there is a place to read inside. And so very consume uh, it's a very time consuming. 
my imagination is different. It's very convenient using the technology. There's book, but uh, it's only a, a, a little volume of books, I would say. What is the reason why in the Philippines uh, there is no practices of using technology in learning classes? The reason is in Peace and Trade World Campus, where schools don't have technology facilities, it is understandable that transition to digital education will take time. There is no technology in the Philippines. Maybe there is a technology, but it doesn't suffice the needs of schools in order to be uh, used in teaching. But given the rapid emergence of digital technology at times referred to as information and communication technology or ICT, there is the need to prepare for bridging the digital gap in society. Yes, it is true because we are we have to prepare in the 21st century that we are facing and our students and graduates will be facing a huge problem if we will not be able to prepare to bridge the gap using the technology. This is the example. We need to understand the potentials of ICT, is the unit work of instantaneous communication, because this is global and overcoming all these different countries and countries. It is, it is said that the education is not only confined in the entire country, because we are to be competitive enough globally using the technology. These are the examples. And much of what we just believe may not be applicable anymore to the new generation, especially along matters of traditional value. For example, pag mamano po, biso biso, but in the new generation, it is so called high five or appeal in the Philippines. There's nothing wrong about it. The retention of the retention of uh, recognition pertaining to the elders as a sign of the speak uh, are still there or is still there and using the high five. According to Alvin Toffler's book, Future Shock show how the information age has begun to create many cultural changes in the family, societies, business, government, such as what he calls the throwaway society, modular man, genetic image, scientific trajectory, fractured family, circuit of some text, psychological dimension. These are the uh, written uh, testimony that Alvin Toppler's book emphasized. The illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who can learn and read and learn. This is the, one of the codes of Alvin Toffler. Meaning, in the future, in the future, the teacher and the society or the people in the society maybe uh, those who are not uh, those who are innocent are those people who cannot learn the, using the technology that was maybe he wanted to emphasize therefore um, his coach because in technology in this present day we are using the technology but the problem is the next generation the people or the young of today will be facing another kind of technology which is maybe very sophisticated than at the present. You can see here, there's a picture of uh, holding an arrow and pointing to the right side. This is pointing about my conventional material. Here is said that given the speed and power of ICT, for change, growth, innovation, it becomes critical that teachers understand the gap that may be perceived between them and new generation of learners. Why? Because the generation, the next generation, and the youth that 
we are teaching today, they are they are facing. They will be facing of something different. They will be uh, using a technology which is ahead from us because the technology of today will be diminished in the future. So we have to prepare them in order to have a, a knowledge to be ready to face the challenges in the future. Since the new generations are expected to face a future professional challenge in the digital world ahead of them, technology supported skills need to be taught in school today, or else schools will become a white elephant. That's true. So, what I have read in my convention, and this is the answer, that the future professionals will be facing a challenge using the world, using the digital ahead of them. So, from now on, schools must uh, prepare the students in order to have a knowledge using a technology in the future. So, we have to use now the gadgets, the technology in the school, in order for them to have a basic knowledge. And this will be used in the future when they are already in their job. And that's all of my report. I hope you learned something. And, and I have reported it to you. Thank you and good day.